Hi everyone, it's Wasim Shah here to share the word of God with you in this night before the year starts. Once again, happy Christmas. I hope you will have this word of God just right before a few minutes or before a few hours of New Year. As according to Gregorian calendar, we are entering in the New Year in today's midnight. But before you go through this, welcome New Year by hearing the Word of God. And not just hearing, but ponder on it. It could be your need for New Year. It could be your better Christian life for the next year. It could be your pattern for the New Year. It could be your courage, power and zeal to be your fruit for next year. What you have not bore in this present year. There could be so and so reasons and things. So be careful and stand still for a few minutes. It can change your life plans and strategies. Open with me the Gospel of Jesus according to Luke 13 chapter 6 to 9 towards. I open on my screen. There is written. Now Jesus told this parable, a man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it and found none. So he said to the worker who tended the vineyard, For three years now I have come looking for fruit on this fig tree, and each time I inspect it, I find none. Cut it down. Why should it continue to deplete the soil? But the worker answered him, Sir, leave it alone this year too, until I dig around it and put fertilizer on it. Then it, then if it bears fruit next year, very well, but if not, you can cut it down. My dear watchers and listeners, as you know, Jesus speaks often in parables. Because parables easy to understand, easy to follow, to write message hidden in the words. And I believe that Jesus also speaks in parables because of his safety as well. But this is not the topic of today. Right now, I just want to ponder on the parable. People knew the parables and they understood it. Therefore, Jesus uses this type of yandra in speaking. Many scholars, teachers and pastors give different meanings to this uh, parable but if i ask you what is the meaning of this parable you can easily find its uh, meanings as you know the man who came in the vineyard is god himself fig tree refers the nation of jews vineyard means the land of israel or land of judea seeking fruit means god requires spiritual fruit not worldly Fig tree was standing with full of green leaves. That means they have law, knowledge and ethics, but they have not the spirituality of all these. Who is wine dresser or who is worker? He is Jesus Christ who was present there. Cut it down means destroy it as it bears no fruit for a long time. Let it alone means that Jesus Christ who is there to pardon everyone, he represents himself as the intercessor of the sinners, of those who can bear the fruit. Thou shalt cut it down. It means after a certain time, if tree will not bear the fruit, then it will be cut down. So this is the whole meaning which was for Jews. for whole Jewish nation and many of them got its true meanings after the crucifixion of Jesus and accepted him in their lives and lived accordingly. My dear Christians, why does Jesus fig tree in his parable? Because in Judea there are several kinds of fig trees. I searched on the internet that in Palestine a certain type of fig tree called Ficus carica is very productive. There, 
people use it to sit under fig trees to save them from sun because it has big leaves do you know fig tree was in the garden of eden it was the tree of which Adam and Eve used its leaves and made aprons according to third chapter of Genesis. In the Old Testament, fig tree is referred as Israel or Israelite. And in Jesus' time, people knew this uh, phrase. Therefore, Jesus selected fig tree to give them a warning, a warning of the day of the judgment. Jewish people knew this parable and those who ignore Jesus, they will be cut down. The meaning of green leaves is the worldly achievements. As we see that scribes and Pharisees, Sadducees and other high-ranked Jews were considered good and people were following them because they think that they are right or they are righteous. But now Jesus Christ is speaking to us too. I have a coin. See this. It has two sides. So could be found two type of people among us. Today, when we have spent a whole year, it could be possible that we have achieved our goals. We got good jobs. We got visas of our choices. It could be possible we built our home. That could be not possible that had been not possible ever it could be your anything that was accomplished in this year this is the first side of the coin or first type of people second side it could be possible that you did well in this year but did not get the same results it could be possible that you didn't go to the church whole year and just use this whole year in earning and nourishing and living. It could be possible that you are not aware of Jesus Christ. It could be possible that you earned everything but lost relations. Anything worst could be possible. But both of sides have the chance, gain the chance by Jesus Christ to enter into the new year. It is Jesus who is giving you one more chance to earn his love, chance to work for him, chance to accept him in your life. And if you accepted him, then accept him by accepting your relatives, through pardon your brothers, sisters and your fellows. Remember, Jesus is the Lord of judgment. He said judgment is among us. Any time, any person can be judged. If someone is upright and walk with God, he hasn't fear to be judged because there would not judgment for him or her. But those who ignored Jesus this year, those who had not time to accept Jesus as their savior, those who were running after wealth or worldly goals, now they have time to come to Jesus. Take him as your savior and you will be saved from cutting down because we do not know the actual time of judgment. If we will not produce fruits, then we are near to be cut down. What is the fruit and how we can bring it forth? Remember, fruit is accepting Jesus and living in him. If we are Christian and do not share our good things to others, then we are not living in Him. If we are Christian and your brothers and sisters are angry with you, then we are not living in Him. If we are Christian and used to speak rubbish, then I tell you, we are not living in Him. If we are Christian officers and have no love for our nation, then we are not living in Him. If you are Christian winners in any field or in any game and not practicing and following the word of God, then I tell you, we are not living in Him. Many things could be possible. Please close your eyes for some moments and find in yourself that what is left in this year that could be the fruit. 
Find in you the love of Jesus. Find in yourself how can we walk straight with Jesus in the coming year. What and where are the lacks? For becoming true Christian, what is needed in you? It is only you and your God knows. So, my fellows, ask Holy Spirit for help to make new resolutions and for His grace for fulfill them. Amen. God bless you and I wish you blessed new year.